and welcome to Tell Me About Your Song, the podcast where I talk to musicians and songwriters about a song they've written. We're Ilyami from Baltimore, Maryland. My name is Rob. This is Heather. And that is Kristen. So the song we're going to be talking about right now is named Oracle. So where would you like to start with this song? It's been one of my favorite songs to play recently. I feel like there's a real incredible power to this song everywhere from the fact that it, it's one of the better ones where Heather and I mesh. I feel like uh, when you listen to an Ilyami show or you go watch an Ilyami show, um, you have songs that are very, very Rob and you have songs that are very, very Heather. And Oracle aesthetically comes right in the center of us. Um, we really join up in the middle of it. It's the very percussive nature of me, and it's the very lyrical nature of her. And then Kristen provides a lot of the bridging of it. The rest of the band provides the bridging of it, tying it all together. And so when I think of what's... So where would you like to start with the song, Shelley? I, I wrote it when I was on a road trip on the west coast of Australia, and I was going to visit the stromatolites. And they're actually the earliest life form on the planet. They lived three and a half billion years ago, they were like a cyanobacteria, it's like a plant, animal, bacteria that lived in the ocean and uh, they wash up on the shore and over thousands and thousands of years they would collect and they would build these rock-like structures. So they looked like rocks but they were actually alive and they had this chemical reaction that would release oxygen so the stromatolites are responsible for the oxygenation of the early earth and they exist in a modern form in two places in the world, one of which is the west coast of Australia. So I went to go visit on a road trip and yeah, I just had this really amazing transcendent experience while I was there looking at the rocks uh, and it, it was like a deep sense of gratitude. Did you get there for like oh, noon oh, for a 10 o'clock show. Um, mm. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of downtime. And as, as with most things, and I, I don't think it's a coincidence, I think it's a way that I try to write, that what a song is about won't really be what it's about. There will be a motive and a refrain and a series, well, not a series, but a set of, uh, of, of images. But the song is not really about that. Yeah, I feel like when I'm writing a song, basically, yeah. and, he, and he was talking to me personally, saying that he had he didn't think that I had written anything super personal in a long time, and so it bothered me that he said that, and I realized that the reason was that he was probably right. I hadn't written anything super personal, so that's when I sat down and started writing this song, and the first verse came out very. So she and the painting have kind of grown old together. Yes. Bingo! There you go. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Yeah, and that's something that I really wanted to get across. And I think, you know, looking at the, um, with the, the, the painting being, you know, it was painted in the 30s. She's an 80-year-old woman. So it's roughly the same age um, that she is. And that's absolutely sort of what I was going for, that, you know, in addition to, uh, that, that part of her motivation for doing this is that trying to turn back time. So she I'll sees this thing. Verses, so I'll use that example. I'll write five verses, and then I'll look at them, and I'll decide that the order needs to change. Mm-hmm to serve the narrative or to serve some other little sparkly trick that I've got going or something. But in this one, it came out, it came out just like that. And then sort of massage the words a little bit, you know, see if you can find little references and uh, better rhymes, internal rhymes, alliteration, things like that, in-jokes. I don't think there are any in-jokes in this one. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> except for... Uh, yeah, the bear that we shared at that fair downtown. Uh, that's got some internal rhyme. And then at six bucks for domestics, we skipped getting a second round, which I don't know how in that joke is, but it's kind of an kind of an in joke. I mean, everybody can relate to going to some uh, some fair or event where a bear is three times what it would be in just yep. about any bar. Um, and also, there were decisions made there to um, am amplify the uh, internal rhyme. Mm-hmm. Like why it's six bucks and not ten bucks or five bucks, right? You know, six bucks domestic skipped. Yeah, yeah I think there's a six bucks. There's like a repeated sibilance in there that's kind of nice and. Yeah, it also the the. Th and also, they wouldn't just charge five bucks. They would charge six. <laughs> <laughs> five bucks at one of those things. Forget it. Sure and also, I mean that. Along with the lyrics, so the video starts off with this young lady lying in bed. 
you know, you hear this sound, and she's just lying in bed. And then all of a sudden, this man appears with the top hat, and he starts dancing. And then, all of a sudden, she sort of perks up, and that's not the sound. And then, I start singing, and, and what happens is he gives her a prize, She's excited. She flies off, which sort of coincides Four with or five different with, versions uh, of it, actually, which is unusual for us um, in the style that we usually record. But this song, we just couldn't get it right. And I think one of the reasons was that we really wanted to make it um, perfect for for my dad, you know, as a tribute to him. So we ended up actually giving it in the end as, as a last last ditch effort. We gave it to a friend of ours, uh, the band The Complaints. Mm -hmm. Dean Petrella and mm. um, Tony and Chris, and they ended up doing the, the bass and, and drum tracks and a piano track for it. And when they gave it back to us, we were like, okay, this is, this is it. We can work with this. And that's how it ultimately got finished. seems like your writing process is very intuitive. Mm. Open and mic. and so now we're going to go out uh, and we'll hear the full song. So enjoy it. Thanks for listening and tune in next time.
so I can die with the kind and the powerless. people actually care about my lyrics and songwritings because otherwise as I said I feel very pompous talking about my process <laughs> right I went to art school <laughs> it's uh, what we do <laughs>